Hello guys, uh, Create Tutorials here with a new tutorial for you guys, um, a motion track tutorial. Uh, yeah, how to motion track 3D text in uh, Bushu, uh, After Effects, and Cinema 4D. Uh, yeah, so this is my way how I do it because, like, you've probably seen Axis HD's tutorial or what his name is um, his tutorial didn't work for me at all so I changed my settings and this is the one uh, that works for me it always works so so you remember this is only my way you can do whatever you want but this worked for me so um, what you first want to do is just drag in the uh, footage um, yeah, it's the footage that you can be able to motion track on. Then you wanna go to just when you have uh, when you're done, you just go to composition, add the render queue, and you just click on the best settings. Make sure it's 30 uh, in frame rate. Then click on output module and make it a PNG sequence. Yeah. Yeah, PNG sequence. Then you want to make a folder and then save this into because it will make around 30 or like 100, 200 pictures. So, yeah, I will just uh, pause the tutorial and come back when it's done. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, it just rendered uh, uh, every picture or frame. So go into Bush you now and if you don't have this program you you must get it to be able to motion track and I'm sure you can get it get it for free on YouTube. Uh okay so you wanna go to your C drive users and your name or whatever and desktop oh and go to the folder and you see all this all those pictures, 165 pictures. So we want to take this, uh, the first one, the 000000, zero, 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 zero blah blah. Um, wait, I have this. Yeah, uh, whatever. Okay, and you want to change the frame rate to 30 and apply. And if you're on uh, the Bushu 5, the frame rate always mess up. So change to 30 and then again and it's 30 to close and now you want to cl click track features uh, yeah click it start and I will be back when this is done okay guys so now it's done we have all these like uh, red and yellow dots over the screen and now you want to click uh, camera all and when I check all frames and check these two boxes and hit start and this is not going to take a long but whatever I'm going to pause the video okay I'm back this didn't take like that long <laughs> okay so now when we scroll, scroll through we have all these dots on the screen now we wanna click scene geometry and click add corner from hand and what you wanna ha do uh, or like take for type you wanna go and take C axis and make like where you want to um, if you want some text here then you wanna make you wanna like click on one dot to another dot because it will be motion track like the middle <laughs> if you can understand sorry about that but yeah and then just hold control and click like the one across the screen then connect to selected then add a corner from hint again and then change the type to C axis um, and then click one um, like uh, like at this way now so and then hold control and then click on one dot that looks good like then you will be more striking around here. 
Okay, I hope you understand. It's pretty difficult to me to explain and stuff. But then you wanna go add a corner from hint the last time, and you wanna set origin, and you wanna click a dot where you would like to motion the track. So I have this perfect dot. Just click one. Is where where you want to motion track. Like if you want to motion track there, just click that. Or yeah, hope you can understand, guys. And I just connect to selected and update corner from hand click that a few times and close and now you can click a test object uh, to see if it's good and you see if it's like that it's perfect and when you scroll through it's perfect so yes yeah, so and now export uh, export camera soul and just, I used to save that in the folder just Go to this folder, like send there you go. And just save the entitled project and just click save and then go to export again, export sequence. Um yeah, just click OK, doesn't really matter. And this is going to take a while, I'm just gonna be uh pause the video and come back. Okay guys, I'm back so now you just go to the folder that you created earlier instead and just double click on the untitled cinema 4d project thingy and just click ok let's try this out and you see you got this like dots on the screen and it's motion tracked so now what you want to do is just create a light or hold and click and tick background and you wanna go back to the folder and you see your video drag it to the material tab and then drag it to the background um, and then if wait, uh, go to MoGraph and text object and you see the text is really really big if it's really big for you or too small or whatever then you go to your top null and go to chord and if it's too big uh, put the 1 to 10 and then 10 and then 10 like that then it's usually perfect if it's still too big just change it to 100 but mine is perfect at 10 so okay go back to your text so now when we scroll through this it's motion tracked it's motion tracked so I will not go through any like um, advanced text settings I will just um, show you how or actually I have a tutorial on how to get shadows and do a pretty nice takes on my channel already I will post it in the description but yeah guys this is like the, uh, the tutorial itself um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please leave a like and a comment below and um, yeah guys bye